I have a boxu chat. What is a boxu? Boxu is essentially a Japanese candy monthly loot box type of thing where they send you candy every month and they have a theme every month and you get to try them out, which I thought was pretty cool. I wanted to do this with my father and my father was the one that originally had this idea that I would open this up with him and then eat the candy together. Well, that was supposed to happen before I went on vacation. You know, lo and behold, I actually ended up not doing it and I'm still going to do it. I got another box. Too. So we're going to go open this one up today, try it out. And then we're going to open up the other one with my father. We're going to do like a two parter. So let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully there's some good candy in here. I've never tried Japanese candy. I just want to let you know. The only ones that I've tried was like Ramune candy that I had once and the Long Long Man candy. Other than that, I don't really know what to expect too much from this box. But I do know that box is like really cool with their packaging and with their, with just with everything they do, they give you a little card. Thank you, since my early days in Japan, I've loved discovering delicious, okay, uh, good for you, buddy. Uh, we got Seasons of Japan, by the way, this is not sponsored at all. I bought this with my own money. I'm just a big fan of food. Oh, but I was gonna get sponsored by them at some point, and then I didn't answer their email back, so I'm paying for it now. Yeah, there's a bunch of different guides to different candies and to different snacks that they offer in different sections of Japan. It's kind of cool, actually, that they give you this little guide. So let's go ahead and get this started first. Oh, maybe I should start off with what's first right this was seasons of japan it, this actually tells you what what it is and what i should eat first so first is the mochan the 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 what mochan dango mochi and they gave me two of them dango i get triggered every time i hear the word dango because i watch clanad and i'm not i'm not gonna say any more than that yeah this is little candies there's little mochi i freaking love mochi actually so i guess i should add that to the list too I love mochi ice cream and uh, mochi in general is delicious. I'm going to go ahead and try them out, I guess. They have little crystals on them, so they're probably either sour or sweet. Um, this trio of dango is covered in sugar and colored in a tr the traditional white, pink, and green. Okay, so let's try the pink. I love mochi. Oh my God, I love mochi. It's like eating, you know, like when they cook pizza or like when they make pizza and they have the dough and they're playing with it and it's nice and subtle. Um, it's nice and supple, I mean. And you just, it, it looks like you can just grab some and eat it. Well, imagine that, uh, but, but covered in sugar. That's basically what mochi is. I love mochi. Mochi is so freaking good. Um, It's a little too sweet for me. I'm not a huge fan of like sweets, but like, these are pretty good. I love mochi. I like it when they're filled, not covered. Uh, no, this is these do not have fillings. They're just straight up mochi. So these are pretty good, actually, but that's all I'm going to have. I had the pink and the white, the green one. Um, they're all the same. They all taste the same, but just different colors. Next up is the stick potatoes called Supa Mucho. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? It's called Supa Mucho Plum. I'm not even kidding you, dude. It's called Supa Mucho. What is supa? I don't know what supa is, but okay, sure, why not? Supa mucho. Yeah, I supa mucho. How about you guys? But I guess these are plum flavored? Every bite of these thin, crispy potato sticks carries the floral notes of a plum blossom. Well, here we go. Ooh! Oh, that's good. Ooh, I love that. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's like sour, then sweet, then salty. All in one go. I love that. That is yummy. It tastes good. Like the plum flavor. You can taste it. It's very faint. It's very subtle, but it's there. I was expecting this to be like super sweet. You know, like what Pringles does whenever they have like a, like a sweet flavor. Look at that. Plum and potato sticks. Oh, I love that. I might actually save these, make a sandwich, put these in them. Oh man, I might have myself a nice lunch. <coughs> Those were good. Okay, so next up is 20th century pear lang de chat. What the hell? De it's a biscuit. Here it is. It's a pear fromage biscuit. Pear fromage biscuit. That's like French, isn't it? Fromage? Isn't that cheese? 
Is it fromage cheese? Oh, there is cheese on. Oh my god, look at this. It's got cheese it in between, but it's all like stuck together. Yeah, nice. Yeah, there it is. So this should be sweet. So Alright, let's see this. Oh my god, you can definitely taste the cheese in there. Don't taste any chocolate. There's the pear. Yep. Shout out to all the pear. I can taste the cheese at first, and then it turns into pear. I don't taste any chocolate in there. But the but the biscuit is so nice and soft. You know what? The white... You know, the, the filling inside feels like it's white chocolate. Like, it has a nice, soft interior. It's not like, you know, like a freaking Oreo cookie cream filling. It's a lot softer than that, but it's still really firm because it's thin. So it doesn't really move. It doesn't move the biscuit or the cookies between the sandwich, but it's actually really good. Oh, that's really yummy. Mm. I'm surprised by that one. That one's really good. Edamame Sembe. It's this right here. Edamame Sembe is next. Edamame Sembe made with summer harvest edamame bits baked into a cracker. Here's how it looks like. Wow. It, it looks great. It's shiny. Look at that. Let's take a look at this. Mmm. Mm hmm Basically a cracker. It's a cracker with... It's a cracker. I guess it's all edamame and roasted soybean. Yeah, it's just edamame baked into a cracker. That's, that's nice. And the roasted soybean powder. So the powder that's covering the actual cracker itself, that's soybean powder. That makes sense because it's not strong at all. It's very subtle, uh, but it's got a nice... Not salty. It's a savory, but it's not salty. This is called seaweed tempura setochi sudachi. Seaweed tempura. That's what this is. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I'm not going to lie. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, by the way. Just letting you know. Not sponsored. No, no, no. Oh, that's seaweedy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's seaweedy. 100%. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. Let's see this. That is tangy. That is super seaweedy. Oh, wow. It's got a huge umami flavor. Oh, it's tangy. Oh, my God. Tangy. Maybe too tangy. <laughs> Definitely leaves a punch. It gets you right here. They're pretty yummy. I think they're more of an acquired taste. I can see why they said they're addicting because I'm pretty sure you can just have those by you and you'll just subconsciously reach for one and, and eat it like a potato chip. But it's definitely more of an acquired taste. Okay, this is handmade yuzu sake candy handmade yuzu sake candy this candy is handcrafted by the artisans at daimonji exclusively for boxu our versions blend yuzu juice peel with sake for a refreshingly citrusy candy this candy contains 0.1 percent alcohol content so please consume responsibly interesting i don't drink i don't drink alcohol but uh Find out. Oh, these are like hard candies. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yummy. I'm not going to get drunk. Are you crazy? I don't. It tastes like yuzu to me. I thought I had a slit, slight taste of the sake, but I, I, I don't anymore. Just tastes like yuzu. It's just a hard candy you can suck on. Gotta keep this out of reach. Who knows who may come lurking in here being like, alcohol. Where's the alcohol? Very interesting. Hard candy. You just suck on it. You can definitely take this to like a tournament. That's pretty good, actually. Don Don Yaki. This right here. Named after the sound of the beating taiko drums. Uh, heard throughout festivals in Japan, those savory senbei are fried and marinated in tonkatsu sauce for a flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Don Don Yaki. Oh, they're like little crisps. Don Don Yaki. Little thing that comes with them. Like a little crisp. But. That is good. Oh, these are not surviving till the end. By the end of the day, these are gonna be gone by the end of the day. Oh, no wonder they gave me two. No wonder these are not living. By the end of the day. There's no way. Yep. These are not living by the end of the day. These are good. Woo! 
so delicious, so savory and sweet at the same time. Oh yeah, these are good. This is my favorite ones, but this whole box, this right now is my favorite. Next up, we got Hokkaido red bean donuts. All right, let's take a look at this. Probably red bean paste inside. I'm not actually not a fan of red bean paste. I don't mind it, but I don't not I don't like crave for it or anything. But uh, I know that a lot of people in Japan love red bean paste, love it, or just in Asia in general. These delicious donuts are filled with uh, anko, which is red bean paste made with azuki beans from Hokkaido. All right, let's take a look at these. This is the red bean paste. The donut is probably the driest donut I have ever e e put in my mouth. If you put this next to sandpaper and you put it in my mouth, I wouldn't tell the difference. The red bean paste is very good. The donut is drier than the Gobi Desert. Real talk. I need water. Uh, the red bean paste is delicious. The donut itself, oh my God, that is awful. I'm moving on. Oh, I need some of the uh, Don Don Yaki. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one though. Black sesame taiko with kumamon, which I imagine it's some sort of mascot. Let's take a look at this. This looks like to be like a crisp of some kind. This reminds me of like Mexican candy too, in a way. It's just all a bunch of sesame seeds crafted into like a sesame seed cracker. They roast them pretty much. Black sesame cracker essentially is what I'm gonna be eating. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this. We'll see. Here right, we go. It's not bad. Some people like this stuff. I personally don't. Yeah, that's not a, a snack for me. That's for sure. Yeah, the black sesame cracker slash nutty, nutty snack. I'm good. This, the Aomori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable. This is how it looks like. Aomori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable. Looks like a cookie. This cookie uses apples exclusively from Aomori, Japan's Apple Prefecture. The addition of sweet apple caramel butter gives a sable style cookie a yakoi soft and chewy texture. So it's a chewy cookie with some caramel apple in it. So not bad, not bad. It's not really a filling. It's like incorporated into the cookie. So. Mm. You know those granola bars? The apple cinnamon granola bars that you get. Imagine that, but in cookie form. I love that. That is yummy. Yeah, it's, not, it's really good. It's like apple cinnamon. It's not a filling. It's like incorporated into the cookie. So you eat it, and you're basically just eating cookie. Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs. Kinako. Basically, Echigo Seika transforms mochi into a crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection. Using a secret proprietary process, the puffs are finished with a dusting of kinako, roasted soybean powder, with a wildly addicting sweet, nutty flavor. So this is basically cream puffs, uh, or mochi, and makes them into a crisp, which is interesting. I never knew you could do that, so let's find out. Well, that is weird. It's like a weird styrofoamy texture. It's like styrofoam. It's very. I have made a mess. They're so light and airy that you can crush them easily. They didn't expect them to go everywhere like that. But yeah, it felt. It tastes. It, the texture is very styrofoamy. It tastes really good though. It's like styrofoamy, but it like melts in your mouth, so it turns into like this weird mushy thing and on uh, and like on your teeth. And it's like, I don't know if I like it, but it tastes pretty good. Organic genmaicha tea. Organic genmaicha. Do I have to do this one? It's like, it's like a tea bag. I don't have hot water. I don't really drink tea either. I should give this to Faith. Suck the tea. <laughs> You're not really. <laughs> You're new to the tea drinking business, aren't you? Yeah, it's basically a tea bag. It's not, it smells like a, like a more fermented matcha. I'm good. We're good. I don't have any hot water, so we're gonna leave that aside. Puku puku Thai chocolate. 
What the hell? Why is my dog barking? Like crazy. What's new? Puku Puku. Puku Puku Thai chocolate. That's what this is. It's a Thai or red snapper are associated with New Year's celebration as a symbol of good fortune. This snack shares a lucky shape, but is filled with an airy chocolate mousse. And the two mochi wafers are a nod to a more traditional Japanese sweet, Monaka. Oh! It's a little fish! Isn't that cute? Look at the little fish. Isn't that cute? I love the little fish. Okay, the fish is fine. Yeah, this looks good. So let's go ahead and try it out. I guess it's like two wafers. Mm. This reminds me of the waffles, the taiyaki waffles that they serve at, at certain ice cream places. Now this is delicious. This is like the snack version of that. Instead of making the fresh waffle taiyaki, they just make it into snack form, which is like a crispy mousse, which is really good. It melts in your mouth as soon as it hits it. And a nice crispy wafer, two crispy wafers. This is delicious. This is my second favorite thing. Will they give me one? Oh, this might not survive till the end of the day. Uni rice cracker. It's a fan favorite too. That's what this is. An uni rice cracker. Uh, so these delicious fried crackers pull their lovely umami flavor from uni, which is sea urchin and soy sauce. It's savory and salty without it being overly fishy and the crackers oblong shape even looks like an actual sea urchin. Looks like uh, one of those shells from those Kraft mac and cheese packages. All right, well, here we go. Hmm. That is yummy. It has an umami flavor, but it's not as tangy as those uh, like those chips, those uh, seaweed chips. Not as good as the dondonyaki, but this is Super good. This, yeah, this is a white strawberry, a Boxu original. So you can't get this anywhere else but in the Boxu set. But I imagine they sell like different kinds of this stuff. White strawberries, I did hear, are extremely delicious and extremely sweet and very juicy. And they're very expensive too. So this is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry. Strawberries are harvested, freeze dried, infused with white chocolate, and cooled for us. For chocolate with a flavor of fresh strawberry. Don't know how this is gonna work, but mm. what the hell? This is so weird, but it's so freaking good. It's literally like it's not even like an actual strawberry, like a freeze-dried strawberry. It's like like what do they say? It's like if you take a piece of chocolate and a strawberry and then make it together it's basically like a white strawberry white chocolate strawberry it tastes like strawberries too so they basically mix up the strawberries the white chocolate the and then they kind of shape them again and then they freeze dry them and they cool them yeah and they cool them and then they you get this this is weird science that is freaking delicious though I've never had anything like this. Nor have I ever, ever seen anything like this. That's probably my second favorite thing in this thing. Oh, and then I forgot this too. There is the matcha chocolate stick cake. It's a matcha cake. A matcha chocolate stick cake. This soft cake uses matcha from Uji Kyoto, Uji Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha. Pairing earthly matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips gives this cake a rich and subtly sweet flavor before like legit authentic real matcha and it's freaking strong and it's gross it's very acquired because it tastes like literal lawn but it's it's acquired it's how it is and they drink it a lot but matcha flavored sweets taste like way different it's like white chocolatey and like matcha like there's a faint hint of matcha but so freaking faint you can't even tell so I like matcha flavored things, but I don't like matcha. It tastes like tea, but it's way earthier. Like if you had authentic, real matcha, I've had that. Like imported, freshly brewed, like with the brush and everything, like prepared, like the whole, the whole shebang. Not like you get a Starbucks at uh, somewhere with matcha in it, or you order like a matcha tea or something. Like this is legit. Like they, it's made fresh with the brush and everything. It tastes way 
way more pungent and way more strong than any green tea ever could. Holy crap. It hit me like a truck. I cannot, I can't drink it that much. Some people drink it with like some, some milk foam. Um, you just boil up some, uh, or just steam some milk and then you put a little bit of the foam in the matcha tea, but that's about it. But some people straight up drink it raw and I don't know how people do that, dude. All right. Anyways, the matcha cake. Let's try this out. Oh. Whoa. That is legit matcha. That is not like other matcha things. That is legit matcha. That tastes just like matcha. Not the matcha flavored things. That tastes like matcha. Earthy with chocolate chips in it, in a cake. That is weird. Matcha lovers would love this. I'm not gonna have any more. <laughs> I had my share fill of things. All I know is that when I drunk the matcha, and I drunk the whole thing because freaking, I'm no, I don't let anything go to waste. When I drunk the whole thing of matcha, I was so active and so energetic because apparently one little thing of matcha is like a hundred little cups of like green tea, like the equivalent, like legit matcha. It's like, it gives you so much energy and so much caffeine. That's yeah, like one of those things got me going. So if this is like any of that, this will get me going. Let's see. Yeah, they gave me like another cracker. They gave me another strawberry, which I'm going to save like crazy. Another Don Don Yaki. Some more of this booze, yuzu, hard candy. Um, they gave me more of this mo like uh, crisp mochi. Uh, these donuts were awful. I think those donuts are terrible. That's all they gave me. And then another thing of mochi and such. And oh, this uh, potato. Oh, yeah, the potato steaks. These were delicious. Those were awesome. So. Out of everything, the strawberry, don don yaki, and the, the taiyaki and the plum potato sticks, amazing. Everything else was okay. If you guys want me to do this again, I have another one saved up. I've just been sitting here. Um, I have it saved up. I will do that with my dad. And my dad's a professional chef, so you'll get like a freaking chef's. Uh oh, Shuba! Shuba! Yeah, let me know if you want me to do it with, with, my, with my dad. We can get a, a professional chef's opinion on all this stuff. Pretty cool. I like uh, eating candy with you guys. It's pretty fun. They were all pretty yummy. 